In today's video, we are gonna be getting more specific with the air code drivetrain malfunction. We're gonna be talking about what is it and how does it affect your vehicle. Um, so drivetrain malfunction in the case that the car has suffered a transmission or engine problem. It often happens during steep inclines, heavy accelerations, trying to pass, or fast accelerations. Now the only way to diagnose why drivetrain malfunction warning appeared is by using a BMW scanner. That is not true. You could use a generic code scanner in order to figure out what the problem is. You just simply have to probe around and get to the specific issue. The BMW scanner would show you what module that area is coming from. It'll be a lot more specific about it and it'll narrow it down right to the point. Get fixed. Let's get it. This video is for educational purposes only. I'm in no way responsible for what you choose to do with the information provided. Before you do anything else, I am going to recommend that you scan the vehicle first, come up with the error code, and that way you could probe and diagnose that way. Here's the conditions I experience whenever I experience P0204 drivetrain malfunction. Whenever I went to go accelerate, it felt like the torque was turned off so it would never quickly accelerate to the speed that I wanted to get up to. What I did was I changed out the fuel injector. Fuel injector 4. It fixed it for about six months. The car was running perfectly fine and then it went right back to the issue again. So I was like, what gives, right? The same exact fuel injector went out again. So I did the same thing again. I swapped out the fuel injector. It fixed it for three months this time and then the issue came right back again. So I changed it out one more time. It fixed it for a month and then it went right back to the same issue again. So I'm like, hold on a second. If I keep fixing the same exact fuel injector and it's the same exact one going out and all the other three has not been changed, it cannot be the fuel injector. It has to be something else. So what I ended up doing is I bought a meter and I started probing at the wires. I was just checking to see if there was some type of voltage drop happening or some type of spike in voltage to see if that's what the issue is. At first I thought it was because the wires were loose, corroded or messed up. So what I did is I started the car back up and I started pushing out the wires and nothing happened. So the wires weren't the issue. Every time I stuck the meter inside of one of the positive wires, it didn't matter which injector that I was testing, it would shut off. And then when I went to go turn it back on, it actually fixed the issue. That's what actually led me to believing that it had nothing to do with the physical injector. It had nothing to do with the physical wire, but it had something to do with some type of pulse being sent to the ECU and triggering it to either turn on or turn off drive train malfunction. And that's exactly what it was. So I'll go stab at the wire whenever it's not working properly, the engine would shut off, it would turn back on, and everything would work perfectly normal again. There you have it guys, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know what it is down in the comments below. Anyways guys, Benji D here from Get Fixed, and I'm out. Peace. Let's get it.